I can be a bit forgetful at times. So I'm always really grateful when, if I've got an appointment, say with a doctor or a dentist, they send me an SMS the day before to remind me, ah, you've got an appointment tomorrow. That is actually really helpful for me as a customer and I appreciate it when businesses do that. I think you'll probably find the same for your organization that if you have some kind of sales meeting or a consultation, it's quite annoying if there's a no-show and therefore it's quite useful to be able to send out reminders. I'll show you how to set up an appointment reminder inside your CRM. We'll create a new workflow rule and the workflow rule will be for the meetings module and it's based on being executed 15 minutes, in this case, before the scheduled time of the appointment. It doesn't have to be 15 minutes though. We could do half an hour, 45 minutes, hour before, two hours before, all of these combinations here. Or we could, if we want to do it the day before, we can say one business day before. and we can schedule it for an appropriate time as well. So there's a, a lot of possibilities there about when to schedule it. You can choose from the triggers there. The next thing we'll do, if you have any criteria about when it should be run, in this case, I'm, I don't wanna do it generically yet. I'm just doing it for this test. Set up a condition therefore that it only applies for meetings that contain Twilio test. Under instant actions, I will then do, even though it says instant, it is going to be executed at the time that you scheduled here. But we do create record for Twilio SMS messages. What we do then is you can put in whatever you want in the message name, that's just an internal reference. Then for the message here, you can include the relevant information about the meeting. It won't actually work with the, what I've got here, the lead first name, because generally with meetings in Zoho CRM, you've got them set up as participants and due to limitations of workflow rules, you can't actually have a participant name in here. So you, you'll have to keep it relatively generic at this point, but you can definitely include merge fields from the meeting. You can include the title, for example, definitely include the time of the meeting, which is in the from field. And you could include the location as well. Maybe it would be a, a Zoom call, for example. Then you need to include activity ID. For that, you'll include the meeting ID merge field. I'll show you how to do that. That's the hash, store merge field, and just choose meeting ID there. The only other thing that you might want to include besides what we have here is reporting tag. You could call this one appointment reminder, for example, and that way you'll be able to see how many people reply to this message. Okay, that's all there is to it. I'll show you an example now. This is a meeting I created and you can see here that the meeting was scheduled at 5.50. A, a message was created via workflow rule and I had it at, at that time scheduled for 15 minutes prior to the start of the meeting. We can see the timing is correct that it was scheduled exactly 15 minutes beforehand and then it was sent out and I'll show you what it looks like when I got it. You can see there's a, a blank bit there where because I had location blank and blank also where the first name would have gone. That's what I mentioned earlier about not being able to use merge fields for the lead but you definitely can use here the, the meeting title and the time of the meeting. I hope that helps you to be able to make your own appointment reminders.